Welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM21 series where we look at some young talent on Foot Manager and we see how they get on the course of their careers. If you're excited for the episode, hit the like button down below. It does help the channel out massively. And subscribe if you're new as well for daily from content from Let's Play and also every other day videos in this series. Um, down below is, is my Twitch channel, I have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Also, uh, my Discord is down there. My VOD channel for the Twitch, Twitch streams as well is down there. Plenty of content coming your way. I'm really excited to get involved in it. So these are players that I'm curious about. Also players that maybe you want to look at. And if you want to give your player a look at on this series, join the Discord. There's a section in there. Um, one person's already done that, finally. Someone finally um, managed to um, find that section. Because I, I, had to, I, had to, I wasn't sure whether it was visible on the, on the, on the menus, but clearly it was. Thank God, um, and they've actually made a request. So next player is going to be that player, that player, that person's request. Uh, this player today is a person that I'm curious about, which is Kaladin Sulimina, uh, a player that United were linked with. And I thought, well, he's young. Let's see what everyone thinks of him. Just, I need a player. Couldn't really think of one off the top of my head. And then this link came up with United. I thought, let's have a look at him. So straight away, as you can see here, he's got 15 dribbling, 5th fourteen finishing, good pace as well, good acceleration. You can't sign him in the first season though, so. There's no point me doing any analysis on him massively. Sixteen technique. He's got all the blueprints I like in a player. Strength is a bit low though. Runs the ball off turn and cuts inside from left wing. So definitely a left winger. Maybe a striker. Maybe if you work at it a lot. But not necessarily really think he's going to be that. So yeah. Um, Kishinara guys. We do like four jumps. Four year jumps. Five year jumps. Something like that. And we see how they get very each player on the major start of the game of course. So let's get to the first jump guys and see how he gets on. All right, folks, he's not at Porto, and he's worth £4.5 million, pounds, and there's been a slight increase in one or two attributes. Nothing really to write home about um, at this point. Uh, injury record, let's have a look how he's got on here, and he's pretty much okay injury wise and they're really concerning. Uh, so they paid £5 million pounds for him. Not just land in Denmark, though. He, he was getting nine goals, then four, then one, then obviously moved to Porto B-side, or Porto, for £5.5 million. Pounds. And just not getting a fair and a crack of the whip. But again, guys, this player's still got the building blocks. Got his pace is there, the finishing's there. I think he could be a striker. He could be a striker, actually. He's got the technique, got the composure, got the finishing. It's not not great, but it's doable. Um, player traits, still the same. Yeah, I mean, maybe he needs just a bit more first-team football at a higher level earlier on in his career. And I think that's never something he had to do. But he's not a bad player. He's just not insanely good. But he's very cheap as well. £5.5 .5 million for a player who I think has got a bit more growth in him than seeing here. And has got good dribbling, finishing and technique, flair and pace. It ain't bad, is it? So let's continue. I want to see if he can get established somewhere. All right, folks. He's now at Blackburn Rovers. And the only really increase we've seen is the composure. Now, this is the second run for he did this player. And it both happened. Both times it happened, this. They didn't get played enough earlier on his career. And it kind of stagnated. So... Um, in case you know you need to see it, I do at least two run throughs of a player, just in case there's a mitigate, just, just to give yourself a fair, a fair, fair crap. Obviously, if I, if I keep if I keep doing run, run, run throughs on a player until they become good, we'll we we'll, we'll get a video out regularly. So I've got to try and give him a fair crap, also and get the videos out for you guys because I do enjoy making these videos. He's one of my favourite series to do. Um, so yeah, I think getting really on. He's not expensive though. Injury record, looking at that, not terrible. Looking pretty good uh, for injuries. History. Let's have a look here. So, Porto just didn't play him, did they? And that's basically the problem we're having. Blackburn did not do the same. So, again, it's twice I've now tried this. And he's not been played. Unfortunately, I can't, not, I can't force the AI to play the player. But, let's look at the plus sides. The pace is good. Not ex not very expensive. Finishing's okay. Could be better, but again, more football. You got We've got to look at it from a point of view of... He hasn't been played much at all in this in this scenario. So this is what he looks like now. Add on a bit of play time, and there you go. There is your talent, and also you, you yourself a better, probably better, probably better at developing a player than the AI is. 
I like him. He's a very simple winger, isn't he? He's not like overly skillful um, in terms of long shots and passing and that kind of thing and first touch. But he could be a nightmare with pace. The strength is a bit of a word for me though. Uh, but again, the acceleration is pretty high, so there's that. So how? So I think he needs to need to need to in football. Let's see if he gets it in his gets it in this in this uh, run through. All right, folks, he's now gone to Zenit St. Petersburg, 30 years old, and I've decided to end it here because uh, it's basically been quite still throughout the whole thing. But the composure's gone a bit high, but obviously not as that will increase as they get older. The pace still stay, stay good into his 30s, though. Injuries, nothing to concern him with there. It's just play time. Get him played more, and I think you get more out of him, to be honest with you. Blackman Rovers didn't play him. Um, FC Cumhaven did play him a bit more. He got six goals, five assists uh, for on loan. Then he they got five and one. For that season, yeah, you just need to play him often. But I just was always curious about this guy. I will do this occasionally. I'll put my own players in there again, guys. Not every save is going to be the guys who want the best players in the, in the world. So I will try and find these little gems that maybe could be good for a few seasons for you guys who are doing small team saves. Um, and also, I'm curious about, sometimes I'm curious about playing negative link with what you know, make, would make sense to do that with you. Um, so yeah, um, rating four because he's not. He, I think there's more in him, but again, I give him a 4 out of 10. Um, I feel like, based on what we've seen twice, I would like to see him play, play more. Unfortunately, I can't force him to do that. If I could have forced him to keep playing him, maybe we might have seen more. But then again, maybe next year he might get boosted with the news that he's apparently doing very well in the club he's currently at in Denmark. Um, but yeah, so thoughts so for down in the comments, guys. Is he a player you're looking to sign yourself? Also down below, hit the like button and subscribe as well. If you want to get involved in this series and get your players featured, every player will get looked at. Um, get involved in Discord. There's a section in there. Tag me in it. I go in there every evening around 10 o'clock-ish and I look at the reviews and uh, every and every evening around 10 o'clock I'll also update the schedule, what's coming live and what's going to go be released when, which is also down in the description below on this series so you can keep track of when your episode is going to go live. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.